Electric vehicle fires pose unique challenges due to thermal runaway. A high-voltage EV battery is made up of many cells packed tightly together inside a watertight, fire-resistant box. When a single cell fails, it is essentially a small explosive that produces a tremendous amount of gas and heat, 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit, in tenths of a second. The failure is an exothermic chemical reaction that does not require oxygen from the atmosphere to sustain itself. The heat released from each individual cell is transferred to the neighboring cells, which causes them to fail as well. Once a battery cell fails, it is impossible to extinguish the failed cell, as the chemical reaction inside the cell happens far too quickly. The only way to stop a thermal runaway is by directly cooling the cells involved to ensure that the failed cell does not cause the cells around it to also fail. Ineffective tools for thermal runway, firefighting foam. While foam can smother fires, accessing overheating cells inside the sealed battery box is challenging. Class D extinguisher. Designed for metal fires, it's ineffective against lithium ion cells and its application is hindered by the box's design. Pancake nozzle. Intended to cool the battery, it lacks sustained water flow and struggles to penetrate the box effectively. Fire blanket. Smothering the fire is ineffective due to the battery's chemical reaction and trapped gases pose risks. Piercing nozzle. While designed to deliver water, it poses electrocution risks and can worsen cell damage. What works? Let it burn. There's no simple fix for thermal runaway. Directly cooling cells is effective, but often impossible for responders. In such cases, allowing the fire to burn out while containing it is the safest approach. Though not ideal, it prevents prolonging the incident and minimizes risks. In addressing EV fires, prioritizing safety and understanding tool limitations are essential.